Certainly the last three years we've worked very hard at being a very well-organised business and to be honest with you, without that we cannot generate the money that we need to run the club um, and footballers are very hungry um, when it comes to uh, the costs of running a football club these days. So. Good morning. Oh, you okay? Yeah, how are you, lad? Yeah, good. Nice and busy down here anyway. Yeah. Uh, do you think these fun days are a good idea? Yeah, of course it is. You know, it's a launch of the news trip. You know, it's uh, the holidays for the kids. You know, what, what best chance to get down, you know, see the new kit. You know, there's plenty going on down here for them anyway, and, uh, you know. Now, we can push your face out and make you anonymous, but what do you really think about the new kit? I think it's nice. You know, I think there's a few changes from last year from the home kit. And, uh, you know, which I makes, think it makes stand out a lot more. And uh, I'm sure it'll go down well with the fans. Yeah, it's great to see everybody here, you know, enjoying themselves. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Now you're feeling at the moment because you got this bit of a knock, haven't you? Yeah, it's going all right. Hopefully, I'll be back for the final game, which is on Sunday. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, are these pre-season friendlies. I mean, are they a hindrance or a help? I think if you get your fitness, it's all right. But if you get a little knock like me and Noel Wheeler have done, you know, it's hard to get yourself back into it. I mean, the, the small knock you've got. I mean, you must. Your heart must go out to people like Shearer. Yeah. Obviously, I know him from my time at Newcastle. I know what it's going to do to him. But there's a strong lad and he'll be back as soon as he can be. And you're talking about training and physical fitness, how's your fitness at the moment? Um, I'm injured at the moment, so, but uh, my fitness is okay. I'm just a bit short on match fitness, which uh, might be a problem. You know, I don't think I'm going to get another game in before the start of the season. So, um, that must be terribly disappointing. It is, you know, to me, I did the back strain before, which kept me out of two games. I think I've had about one and a half games of pre-season now, which is nowhere near enough. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that... Yeah, the last game is final, which I don't think I'm going to make either. So it's a strain to the season for me if they come fit. I think this is a, si a big season for Coventry. You know, we've bought wiser. You know, we've got a few world-class players, so it's going to be a big season for us. And it must be good for you. I mean, you came in not at the start of the season, but part of the way through. You've finished the season off. You've seen what the club like, and you know the potential. So it must be great to get that first game under your belt next Saturday against Chelsea and get going. Yeah, I think, you know, it's an important game. You've got to get a good start in the Premier League. But with the players we've got here, you know, we've got to be looking to uh, do quite well. Is there any potential there? What, mine or the crowd? <laughs> no, we're all Yeah, the U.S. have got loads of potential. Yes. Looking brilliant, aren't they? Don't they do us proud during the season? Excellent. We remember such a good one. By the time they've got back to the next week's match, they'll have done over 50 fates, events, carnivals, corporate bookings since the season finished. Now that's some going. That is some going. Yeah, but I mean, like, you organise it and you, you, take, you take total control of them. It's hard work for you as well, surely. It is. And it wasn't the fault of these young chaps, the Rugrats, courtesy of Nickelodeon. The problem was that on the day, only a thousand kits had arrived from the four thousand that were ordered by the club. I caught up with Brendan Forkin, who is the retail manager of Coventry City Football Club, to explain. You're saying it isn't Coventry City's fault, it is actually at the door of the manufacturer. That's correct. Uh, uh, everyone at Coventry City uh, Football Club have actually done their job to the best as, they, as we can. Um, as I said, I ordered 4,000 shirts for the kit launch, and unfortunately only 1,000 shirts turned up uh, with no shorts and um, half the quantity of socks as well. So um, hopefully we should get it uh, remained in stock within the next uh, few days. Uh, most people are, I think, but uh, the change in the sponsor caused a lot of problems, not in terms of the technical problems, but just in terms of uh, production problems, and I think you know, one or two other clubs have changed uh, sponsors and all kits this season. Sponsors are the bigger problem, because you know what you're going to do with your kit, but uh, the sponsor wasn't decided until June, um, and just to make the printing uh, rollers takes five to six weeks so you can imagine how tight we are on time so it's it's all right we, we've just about made it we'd have liked to have been a couple of weeks earlier to be honest but, but there we are and at the end of the day i work for country city football club and i know that everyone here has done their job to the best of their abilities and it's purely down to the kit manufacturers what's it like being the management of country city football club brilliant 
What about you? What, what, yeah, hey, look, if we could sit here and we could be anything we want, what would you be? You'd be manager or chairman or you could be captain of the football, what do you reckon? Captain. Captain, so you still want to play then? Well, you're going to fight. I'd better be chairman because I'm a bit older than you, Lionel. Like, you could be manager then, yeah? Yeah? Fine. What do you think of this new kit? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, then show the camera, give me a, give me a flash. Yeah? And what you can do, you can turn around for us and show us the back. Stand up. What's it say on the bottom? Have you read it? Scandals. You, you, yeah, that's brilliant. Give us a thumbs up for next year. We're going to do well, yeah? Give us a cheer. Yay! Yay! Perhaps in some respects, the launch today, uh, as it were, does actually attract more youngsters because, of course, they're all on school holidays. Absolutely, and also the ground's all open today. Uh, and they can go and wander around and have a look around the dressing rooms and all that. And then the other thing, of course, is that those that can't come today were open tomorrow um, in the new store in, in Hartford Street. And that one opens at uh, Hoppers Nine tomorrow morning. Well, just tell us a little bit about that, because that's been a major venture for Cobham City Football Club, hasn't it? Yes, I mean, we've already got the one shop in Cathedral Lanes, um, but we felt that we really did justify now a major presence in the city centre. And the idea was, originally that JJB Sports and ourselves were going to build a store here um, but we put that on hold because they came up with the idea of building a new store in the city centre and it's about uh, 14,000 square feet which if anybody can work that out is a very very large area and we've taken a major chunk of that store working with them we've staffed it ourselves and it is our own store it's rather like a big store within a store we are in the brand new JJB Sports Complex, which used to be the old ABC Canon Cinema, if you remember it. I certainly do. It came in to watch a few movies. But now it is a huge sports uh, shop. And as you can see, Sky Blue Leisure is here in full force. We have had so many people say, can't talk to you because I'm not supposed to be here because I'm supposed to be at work. But Paul, you're all right, aren't you? Yes, I'm all right. No problem at all. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for that. Good reaction today, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's a nice yeah. shop, actually. It is. It's good. A big city fan. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Are you getting any of the new kit? Well, my son's just in the queue now. I'm pulling up my daughter's, we just bought QPR kit. What do you think of that? QPR kit? Yeah, she's wanted a QPR shirt for about a year now. Yeah. <laughs> Can we edit that out, please? <laughs> no QPR, I'm sorry. It is so very, very busy. Here we are behind the counter, Sky Blue Leisure, in the new JGB Sports Department. Good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm OK, thank you. <laughs> you look a bit harassed at the minute. Yeah, it's a bit, just a bit busy, you know. Just a bit. Yeah. What's it been like this morning? Havoc. Yeah. Really has been havoc, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're coping. What's the demand like? Very. I mean, I've been at the ground this morning at 7 o'clock, and there's mm. people that come at Right. Right. Oh. I think we'd better leave them alone. I bet you... <laughs> Give me a cup of tea. But of course, the uh, the uh, attention recently has been to the uh, po possible new uh, super site for Coventry City. Well, that's something that we're working very hard on. Um, I mean, it's really a question. I mean, everything can happen there. We need just help, really, in terms of uh, making sure the planning can go through. Uh, but the stadium itself is absolutely stunning, and I mean, it is a state-of-the-art stadium. Um, and we had here the leaders of the World Cup um, bid for, the, for England uh, for 2006 um, and we disclosed our plans for the whole stadium and there's no doubt at all that if that were to happen, um, which we believe it will, then our stadium would be in the frame for, for games in, that, in this region. We've still got a very good squad of players, we've added to it. Is there still money in the pot for Gordon to add to it some more? Yeah, I mean, if we found the right player, we're, we're working hard, you know, almost as we speak at the moment on, you know, some major uh, business that we would like to do, but it's not always possible. Not from our perspective, but, you know, very often other clubs won't let good players go, and, you know, that's their prerogative. Um, and if those clubs, as a lot of them, don't now require money, because there is so much income coming into the game. The necessity for clubs to sell is much less great than it used to be. Um, I mean, it always used to be here that, you know, every year at the end of the season, before the deadline, uh, one or two players were sold, and that was how the club financed itself. Um, now, we've tried over the last three years, even before Sky, to reverse that trend and, and not be a net seller. I mean, we have been a very heavy, substantial net buyer of players, and uh, 
you know, I think we've got to adjust a few things, but in principle, um, we're still looking very much to strengthen the squad still further. A very quick message to the fans then, Brian, for the 1997-98 season. I think well, the real thing is, and it always is the same, is that, and that is to get behind the team. The team want to do well. Every single one of them wants to do well for Coventry City. Gordon wants to do the best he can for Coventry City. You know, there's never a situation where people don't want to do well, of course. So, as long as everybody accepts that and, and gets behind the team in every way they can, then I know we'll be successful. And uh, certainly last year, there was a major reason why we did stay up, and I believe that this year will be a major reason why we do much better.